So welcome to another episode of the MMC 3932 Sports Journalism Podcast. We are here today with Victoria Cantu from the women's swimming and diving team. Victoria, how are you? Good. Thank you so much, Marsha, for inviting me and um, wanting to get to know me better. Of course, yeah. This is super interesting. It's the first time that I've gotten to uh, talk to a sports person. I'm not, I don't know, because it's like, I. this is a class that we, we are required to take, but they mm -hmm. don't specify that it's sports journalism. And I didn't know anything about sports, so this is a first time for me. <laughs> well, um, nice. Yeah. Um, I'm curious to know, how long have you been practicing this sport? Um, well, basically like all my life, really. And I think I started to swim competitively when I was around eight years old. And well, like this spring, I just finished my swimming career, actually. After the, this last conference, it was my last after my fifth year. So yeah, it was a pretty long swimming career. And I mean, I still love the sport. I still practice swimming, you know, like I don't think I will ever stop it, but it's been fun for sure. Great. And what about, um, why did you choose this path or like who introduced you? What introduced you to it? So I think most swimmers really start like that. Like our parents were just scared for like that we would drown in the pool. So they introduced us to swimming lessons and that was my case. And I mean, I tried so many other sports, but I just really love swimming since I was a kid. And I kind of stayed around with the sport and I was practicing every day and I like I realized I was pretty good at it, so it became like more serious to me and that's when competitions began. So yeah, then I mean, I knew I wanted to go to the US for for swimming and for college and I got this great opportunity in FIU and I mean, it was really the best thing that could happen to me. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. Thank you for sharing that. Um, one good, like kind of deep thing that I like asking um, people is, especially with this um, path that it's been so long, you've been since you were little into this, um, knowing what you know today, what advice would you give yourself when you first started this journey? I think, um... I would really give myself the advice of enjoying every moment and having fun with the sport. And yes, of course, it's a serious thing, but like it's more important to actually enjoy it and to really love what you're doing because it can get pretty stressful at times and it can get like a little bit overwhelming. And I think in my case, at times it was that way. Um, so yeah, that and that there is also life outside of swimming you know like outside of your sport it's fine to love your sport and it's fine to be dedicated but there are other things there is school there is friends there is like relationships that you also need to work on so yeah okay has uh leaning on that has there ever been a time that uh this sport ever got into the got in the way it affected any relationship any friendship maybe uh i think i think swimming specifically is a sport that requires a lot a lot of time so for example we would swim in the mornings for like two and a half hours and then again in the afternoon for two and a half hours so it's really a big commitment so i would say in my teenage years and stuff i uh I did miss out in a lot of things, but it was like my personal choice because I was dedicated. So sometimes it's hard to find like a balance between life, between school and between swimming. But I think with time you learn. And Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, also, in that sense, what would you say then is an asset 
that every professional should have in this industry? I think the biggest probably quality that an athlete must have, and I think a lot of them have it, but it's resilience and being able to um, come back after a difficulty, after a hard challenge or after, you know, maybe disappointment, you come back and you come back stronger and you keep pushing. I think that's that's something that will help you in swimming and in life, in your career, in school, in everything, really. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's definitely something that you need to be determined and just be disciplined about it. And yeah, like you said, try to find a balance and just keep everything together. Um, but moving into a little more fun part, could you share with us what has been an embarrassing moment during your career? <laughs> during my swimming career? I don't know there is this one video um, I was having a pretty bad meet and I was swimming right in the first lane and all of my friends were cheering on the side and I was swimming backstroke like the backstroke part of a 200 meter medley and I could see all my friends like not making fun but cheering for me and filming me and stuff and I was just screaming from the pool while I was racing please stop like please stop and I was swimming while I was like talking to them and yeah my coaches were pretty angry that I did that but it's on video and it's pretty funny now <laughs> oh my god that's <laughs> been something fun to watch yeah um, I also have a, another kind of deep question um uh, that I also ask a lot, pretty much not only uh, people in sports, um, but mainly probably everyone ever. Uh, what has been a mistake that you've made that you still think about? Oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> I, I don't... I cannot think of any specific ones, but I I do think that mistakes make you, you know, grow and be who you are. So I don't really like calling decisions mistakes, if it makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I cannot really think of any particular thing right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah, it's something, uh, it's, I like that you say that you compared it to making decisions um, mm -hmm. because yeah, sometimes we make difficult decisions that maybe end up being not as rewarding or the results are not what we expected, but um, still we were probably in a situation that it, it was the best decision that we could have made and it didn't end up being a mistake, but it's probably what was best for us in the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, can you tell me something fun or interesting fact about yourself? Um, so uh, maybe it's not fun, but now I am st studying my master's here in FIU and I am doing information systems and business analytics and I mean, right now I'm very interested in this path and I'm really enjoying my my career and I'm like excited to see where that takes me. Uh, another thing, um, like swimming for me in FIU was way more than just swimming. It was my team that made it so much fun, that made it, you know, like, that made the experience basically worthwhile because I, like, I can tell you, I made like, sisters for life and they support me in everything you know in school in life in in everything so I'm like pretty grateful for that and yeah 